What's up guys, welcome to episode number 9 in our Machine 101 tutorial series. Um, I'm Sebastian Jabazi. Um, basically, this episode we're going to be going over sampling and slicing in Machine. Um, I'm going to show you a couple ways to get you know samples into Machine as well as um, how to actually slice it in Machine. So for starters, I'm just going to show you a basic um, way to have a little bit of fun with Machine and experience some cool things. Right now I'm using my... my uh, ear pods um, by Apple to record this um, this video um, so I'm also gonna use that mic from it to record my voice into machine to show you how easy it is so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start off just go into sampling um, and as you can see here this little this little uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it um, it, it shows you the levels at which I'm speaking so if I stop talking it goes down so basically what you want to do is you want to be able to get a left and right. You want to have a, a, a stereo um, recording. So we're going to change, we're going to turn this second knob until it, 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 it uses input left and right. So now we have them both recording. Um, so basically all you have to do now is you just hit start recording. So well, well before we do that, what, what I have it in, in here is see it, it, in mode it says detect. And what detect means is it means it's going to detect when it should start recording when it's ready to start recording and what that means is wherever this little line is or on the computer on the software this little bar right here is once the 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 sound level gets over that it's going to begin recording and that's what i use oftentimes especially when i'm using a vinyl um, if i'm recording from the beginning um i don't want it to start recording the vinyl spot the start i want it to start recording where the music starts um, but the other mode is sync and in sync you can change it you can make it record one bar of music or two bars or three bars or you know you could turn it off just have it record just to record but for this instance I'm going to use detect mode um basically um once you hit start if once my voice gets above that bar it's going to start recording so I'm going to go ahead and start whoa whoa And that's basically what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to hit it and play it for you. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. So that's basically my voice. That's basically sampling it. And the next step in sampling it is to edit it. So I'm going to go into editor. And I'm going to show you um, various ways to maneuver and chop up your sample um, for this I'm going to use the slice mode. No, actually, I'm, I'm going to stay in editing. I'm going to show you some of the things that Machine's uh, sampler can do with this with this with this sample right here. Whoa! So first things first, it's low. I'm going to nor I want it, I want it to be as high as possible without being distorted. Um, so I'm going to hit normalize, and you can use normalize by scrolling left and right using these these uh, fifth and seventh pads. And I'm going to go to normalize, and I'm going to hit normalize, and that's going to normalize my sample. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so there, there it is. The next thing I want to do is I want to make it, I want to make it shorter. I just, I just want my sample. I just want the voice, and I don't want the ending part because it's just a bunch of noise. So I'm gonna change the ending. I'm gonna go to the very end of the sample, and to get as close as possible, what I want to do is I'm gonna use this knob to zoom in, and I'm gonna use hold shift and turn the knob to zoom in a little bit more because it's going to give you a more accurate zoom and I'm going to change the ending and I'm going to hold shift again and change the ending so it can give me a little bit give me a more accurate and there we go so whoa whoa and it's just going to stop playing after that whoa whoa there it is so I'm going to zoom back out the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit truncate I'm going to scroll over to truncate and I'm gonna hit truncate and it's gonna delete that ending part. So now all I have to deal with is whoa 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 whoa. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do is uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to reverse reverse a sample. Um basically all you have to do is go to reverse and hit reverse and it's gonna play it backwards now. Whoa 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 
I'm sure I can make something dope with that in the future. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there. Um, so um, basically, the, basically you can use any of the effects that are in the sampler just by going um, over to sampler, going to edit mode, and um, just selecting them via this screen. Um, I'm not gonna go too in depth on all of them, but just know that they're all there. Read your machine manual um, and learn how to use all these features. So. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this real quick, and I'm going to show you how to, to, to slice. Um, but before I show you how to slice, I'm going to show you how to import a sample just using your software. Um, basically, you just select where you want your sample to go, your destination. I'm, I already have my sample here. I'm going to go into Browse, and I have all my drum kits here. So I'm going to use this Al Green sample. It's a drum, a drum break. Yeah, so basically, um, what, what the first thing I always do is let's just for just so I can show you guys. Um, if I play this sample and I hit it again and I hit it again, it's gonna keep playing it. It's not gonna stop allowing me to play it, the, the sound over each other. So let's listen real quick. And that's not the sound I'm going for. I'm not going for that weird. I don't know what you want to call that. Um, so what I want to do is I want to change the I want to change the settings so that I'm not able to play more than one instance of the same sample over each other. So I'm going to go to um, I'm going to stay in control mode. I'm going to go to modules and um, I'm going to go to the sampler module and I'm going to change the polyphony down to one. So now I can only play it once. Like. And that's basically that's basically um, it, it really relieves the headache of having to deal with finding out what to do um, later down the line when you have all these samples here and have to go for go and change the polyphony down um, because after I duplicate it, it's gonna duplicate it with the same settings. So basically, the next thing I'm gonna do is, for instance, um, let's say I want to chop it up and I just wanna I just want the kick and I want a, a snare. So I'm going to go into sampling and I'm going to go back into edit mode. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to take this and find the snare. That first sound is a snare. Um, I'm not going to use the first sound. I normally use a, a sound in the middle. Maybe I want those, those two in the middle. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab this. I'm going to scroll over. I'm gonna grab it. All right, so basically I'm gonna zoom back out and I'm gonna change the ending to the end of that, that, that drum. I'm gonna zoom in because I don't want that little that little beginning of the snare. There it is. Next, I'm gonna hit duplicate and I'm gonna select that drum sample and I'm gonna duplicate it to this pad right here. The only thing is now I'm gonna change this ending and I'm gonna change the beginning so I can just capture that snare. So I'm gonna zoom in and capture that snare. And I'm gonna shift zoom in again so I can make sure I got the beginning very accurate. All right. Basically, shift gives you more control over your sample. There it is. 